Hi, now in this particular video, we will discuss about Flux in React. So basically, Flux is something which is not a particular library of React, but it's a separate architecture. So this particular architecture actually allows us to perform the unidirectional data flow. Unidirectional means the data will be sent to the view, to the user interface, not in the reverse, all right? So that performs a unidirectional data flow. It was created and initially used by Facebook. So basically, when Facebook started using it, it becomes so much popular and nowadays, so many organizations are using the Flux along with the React. It can be embedded to the JS frameworks. As I said, like it's a separate architecture, so it can be applied to multiple JavaScript frameworks. But here we will just talk about the React. Uses Redux library. As you know, like if we want to implement something, we go for a library. So for implementing the Flux, we will use Redux library. So Redux is a library and Flux is an architecture, all right? So don't get confused in that. Flux is not a library. Flux will be an architecture that can be applied to various JS frameworks, but here we will talk about React only. Now, if I talk about the elements, means what is all there in the Flux, how it works. So you will find that here we have four major components. Those are action, dispatcher, store, and views. So basically here you can see in this particular diagram that the flow of data, as I said, it's unidirectional. So flow of data is from the action towards the view. So what is action? As the name says, action is something that can be a request or something that will ask dispatcher to dispatch the data. Actions are sent to the dispatcher and to trigger the data flow. All right, trigger means it will, the, it will just send a request that will let dispatcher dispatch the data. Now, what is dispatcher? Dispatcher is something, as I said, it will dispatch the data, means it will be having data somewhere, all right? So this is a central hub of the app. All the data is dispatched and sent to the store because store is something very next. And what is store? Store is something where you put all the logical implementation. So store is a place where application state and logics held. All right. So here, major part of your application will be residing. And once data reach to store, it will forward the data to the user interface. That is the view. So the view will receive the data from the store and re-render the app. All right. Means whatever the change in the state of the UI will be there. It will be re-rendered over the browser so that user can see that. So this is how the Flux implements, all right? This is how the Flux can be implemented in our React application. So in our very next video, we will see a sample application, a sample program where we will implement the Flux in our React application. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.